Novak Djokovic looked vulnerable in his round robin match against Yannick Sinner in the 2023 ATP Nido World Tour Finals, losing in three tight sets. The final, however, was a completely different story. Djokovic played an incredible match, and in this video, we're going to show you the top four things that Novak did well that allowed him to beat Sinner in this match. What's going on, guys? Jason Frosto for TennisUnleashed.net. And in this episode of The Breaking Point, I'm going to look at the top four things that Novak Djokovic did to beat Yannick Sinner in the ATP Tour World Finals after losing to him in the round robin. All right, so let's start with reason number four. And Djokovic's first serve in this match is that reason his serving was clutch. He had 13 aces on his serve in this match. He also hit about 70% of his first serves in. And of the 70% that he hit in, he won almost 91% of his first serves in this match. One thing I commented on about their round robin match was how Djokovic didn't hit any first serves to Sinner's body in that match. And I thought it was a mistake. Body serves aren't usually a very high percentage of serves hit in a match, but you usually want to mix in a few here and there, maybe 5% or so of your first serves just to keep the returner honest. And in this match, Djokovic turned things around and did hit some first serves to the body. We can see that number coming in at 6% on the deuce side for first serves to the body and 7% on the ad side. Djokovic still hit plenty of aces in this match and had a little bit more variety when taking that first serve to the body as well as wide and tee. And the other thing to remember about that variety in the serve, right, it just makes Sinner's job tougher if the first serve isn't so predictable that it's always going to go wide and it's always going to go T. When you jam them up a little bit in the body, especially a taller player with longer limbs, it can be an advantage to kind of keep them on their toes and keep them constantly guessing on your serve. We just got done talking about body serves for Djokovic against Sinner in this match, but Yannick Sinner's first serve to the body was a little bit different in this match than it was in their round robin encounter. In the round robin, Sinner served about 11% of his first serves to the body on the do side and 6% of his first serves to the ad side to Djokovic's body. But if we look at this match, the finals, those numbers increased quite a bit. So 19% of Yannick's first serves went to the body on the do side in the finals match, and 19% of his first serves went to Djokovic's body on the ad side in this finals match versus the round robin. So that's an increase on the do side of 8%, and on the ad side, that's an increase of 13%. Now, we don't know for sure if this was a tactical decision on Sinner's part or if this was something where he's having a little bit of issues controlling his first serve, but Djokovic was on fire as the returner in this match, and the serves to the body weren't very effective for Sinner. And we see those return stats for Novak really back it up against Sinner's first serve. Djokovic won almost 43% of the points against Sinner's first serve, and Sinner didn't serve poorly in this match. He may have served more serves to the body, right, 19% on the deuce and ad side, but his shot quality score on his first serve was 8.7 out of 10, which is well above the tour average. So Djokovic was an incredible returner in this match, but I do think Sinner made a little bit of a tactical mistake if he was intentionally serving so many balls to Djokovic's body in this match. All right, guys, in reason number two that Djokovic won this match over Sinner... He was the steals master. And what is a steal defined as by the ATP Tour? Think of steals this way. Steals are when you're on defense and your opponent's on offense and you're not supposed to win the point. Well, Djokovic's steal conversion rate in this match was 45%. That means almost half the time that Sinner was attacking Djokovic in this match, Djokovic was able to turn it around and counter that offense with incredible defense and still win the point. We commented that Sinner's steal percentage was really high in their first match in the round robin, especially in the later stages, the third set of that match. Well, Djokovic was at 45% for the entirety of this match. And for the second set in particular, when things got even tighter, Djokovic upped his steal score to 52%. That means Sinner was actually losing more points to Djokovic when he was attacking him 
than Djokovic was, right? So when Sinner was attacking and was in good positions, Djokovic was stealing those points at a rate of 52%. So he was actually better on defense than Sinner was on offense in the second set. And that's remarkable considering that that second set was tighter, right? And there was a lot on the line and there was a little bit of tightness going back and forth mentally. So it's incredible that Djokovic was defending that well in the second set in particular. And if you're wondering how a player ends up with that level of a steal score, right? Djokovic is so good off the ground, so good as a mover and anticipator and his depth and what he's doing off of those shots, right? When he's on defense is so good that's why his steal score in this match was so incredible, especially his length on defense and his ability to take angles away from center and basically force center to go for broke to try to win points. All right, guys, and the number one reason that Djokovic won this match against center in the World Tour Finals is that nobody did it better in 2023. And when I say nobody did it better in 2023, I literally mean nobody did it statistically better or shot quality-wise better than Djokovic did in 2023. So the ATP Tour keeps shot quality metrics. We talked about steals in our last talking point. Well, Djokovic's shot quality in this match was the highest of anyone all around his level in 2023. That score came in at 9.75 out of 10, and the average on Tour is 7.49. Sinner didn't play poorly in this match, Djokovic played better than anyone played statistically on tour in all of 2023. That's how remarkable this performance was all around. If we look at his shot quality per category, we can see his serve shot quality was 9.4 out of 10. His return to serve quality was 8.9 out of 10. His forehand quality was 9.4 out of 10, and his backhand quality was 8.7 out of 10. Djokovic was literally off the charts on every single shot that he was hitting in this match. His quality was through the roof. And just one bonus, guys, if that wasn't enough to convince you that Djokovic played the best match of 2023, let's look at the shots won by rally length, right? So in this match, one to four shot points were about 63% of the points played, and Djokovic won that category 42 to 33. He also won the one to four shot point category in their round robin match. Where Djokovic lost in the round robin match was the five to eight shot points and also the nine plus shot points. Five to eight shot points in this match were 22% of the points played with Djokovic winning 17 of those points versus Sinner's nine. So he almost doubled him up in points one in five to eight shot points. And then nine plus shot points in this match were 15% of the points played and Djokovic won 13 of those points and Sinner just six. So Djokovic really turned things around in the five to eight shot category and nine plus shot category where Sinner was winning those extended and longer points before. Djokovic completely turned that around with his shot quality. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video on the top four reasons why Novak Djokovic beat Yannick Sinner in the ATP Tour World Finals. I'm Jason Frosto for TennisUnleashed.net, and that wraps it up for this episode of The Breaking Point. If you found this video helpful or you feel like you learned something today, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It helps this channel continue to grow. If you think I left anything out of this video that was important or key to this match, drop your comments and thoughts below. I'll see you next time.